Hello everyone, my name is Andy, I'm the creator of Event Horizon Gaming and today is going to be another lore video. So as you can probably see, today's, um, today's hero is going to be Valyria. So yeah, let's get started. So, Valeria has an interesting look, she is wearing some type of cold armor, she has some uh, interesting orange or gingeries breeds or breads and um, has a very very big great sword that seems to be enhanced by some type of rune or enhancement, magic enhancement and she is a weird one because she's a nightmare chaotic meaning that she has as allies a lot of demony and non-human heroes right so besides Deimos and not Deimos besides Daemon and uh, let's say Volca uh, which both look like some uh, dead or zombified elves uh, she is the only human in this faction uh, the other let's say normal looking creature <laughs> which, which would be Azar which is actually not a creature but a dwarf so yeah she seems to be the only human so I would assume she might have an interesting story maybe one in which she wants to claim hell or something like this uh, her posture and her armor seem to indicate that she's some type of queen or princess maybe who she wants to be a queen of hell so these would be my assumptions before reading her story in terms of what uh, she what her story might be so uh, let's get started with the story so the company we keep brave and bloodthirsty valiant and determined valeria is a terrifying yet just warrior who combines the strongest of orc attributes with those of humans Sharpening her beloved Claymore, she dreams of taking over the orc clan who adopted her and vengeance on those who wronged her. The orcs are not known for being accommodating to outsiders, often choosing to kill anyone different from them rather than trying to understand them, which highlights just how unusual the tale of Valyria the Peace Knight is. A human born into a Yalnor mining outpost not far from the borders of the Roaring Canyon, Valyria grew up in a poor family. Her mother died in childbirth, while her father, from what little she remembers of him, was a guard, protecting the mine with his fine armor and claymore. However, life in the frontier land was difficult, not only due to the climate and dangerous mines, but also the threat, the threat of raids from increasingly emboldened orcs. Early one morning, when Valyria was a girl of eight, Orcs raided the settlement for resources and slew all who resisted. Her father fought valiantly but fell in battle with Valyria trying to pick up his claymore to fight off the orcs. Unable to lift it, she plunged her father's dagger into the neck of one orc, slaying him. The chieftain leading the raid, Kishkan, was so amused that he decided to adopt her as his own child as he had no children of his own. While she was filled with hate at the first, she soon became interested in the orcs and learned their language and ways. She was taken on raids, shown secret ceremonies to the King of Storms few outsiders had ever seen, and celebrated with them at their feasts. Still remembering her own ways and learning those of the orcs, she served as a connection between the world of orcs and humans. All the while, however, she never forgot what Kishkan did to her father and schemes for her revenge. In adulthood she became one of the finest warriors in the tribe and was thus called the Beast Knight for she did not fight as a puny human but as a savage beast. Kishkan saw her potential and presented her a special gift, her human father's armor and claymore that she had tried to wield, reforged by the finest orc blacksmith to feed her. While others are suspicious of her and see her as a threat to the power of the orcs, fearful of her revenge, she loves the orcs and dreams of taking over the tribe so she can prove she is a better leader than Kishkan. She is driven by justice and fights for honor, long plotting to kill her unsuspecting adopted father Kishkan and take over. 
She sits in her mud hole, decorated with the heads of her enemies, dreaming of inheriting the tribe and avenging the wrongs they did to her kind with blood. So, a pretty cool story and I kinda got it right. Uh, she is not a queen definitely, she was born in a poor family, but uh, her father was murdered by orcs and then she was adopted by the leader of the orcs. And uh, the leader of the orc, seeing her potential, took the armor that her father had and used the finest blacksmiths in his ranks to make it fit her and even gave her his claymore. And she is an extremely well-suited warrior because she grew up with the orcs, basically. But at the same time, she is also plotting to kill Kishkan and she came to love the orcs and wants to lead them. So. It's an interesting, interesting story. I'm really curious if she's going to to have some connections with some future orc heroes. For example, we'll have an orc tank uh, upcoming in the as a fusion in the next few patches. So we'll see if that character has an actual connection to Valyria being an orc. I think he's an orc. He might be also called a troll. It depends. We'll see. So uh, yeah. Uh, I think she's pretty cool. I think uh, she might even make some interesting interactions with uh, other Nightmare Faction um, heroes in the future if they want to update stories or something. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of Valeria's story. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, to leave a comment. I read every single comment that I see. This has been Andy, Event Horizon Gaming. See ya guys!